Welcome back to Everyday Iowa. Parents, do you have a teenager at home who loves to argue? Well, we might have the perfect summer camp. Welcome to the following. I'm going to read the names. They're going to raise their hands so you at home knows who they are and the control room knows who they are. Rachel Ruish? Roosh. Roosh. There's Rachel, <laughs> Cornell mock trial team. Caden Lagore, captain of the mock trial team. And then uh, Max Handler, the coach of the mock trial team. Thanks for coming in, guys. That's all the time we have. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> this is a very unique program. And Max, I'm going to start with you because you're, you're kind of the overall guy to go to. Tell me a little bit about this assembled body here that you guys are representing this morning. Yeah, so we're representing the Cornell College mock trial team. So we're an undergraduate club and we compete all across the country, all across the Midwest against other colleges in mock trial, which is a really cool, really unique activity. And one of the things that makes our team here so unique is the level of investment that we have from the college. So I'm a full-time mock trial coach, which is really cool for mm -hmm. me. I love it. Uh, and the school fully funds us. We've got our own courtroom on campus. We cover all the travel for the students. So it's really unique how much Cornell is invested in the team, and that makes it an even more rewarding experience for all the students. Rachel, when you guys do this, do you bring in judges or somebody pretends to be a judge? Kind of run us through <laughs> some of the process of this. How does it all work? Yeah, so essentially we travel to a bunch of different tournaments, um, mostly around the Midwest, mm -hmm. um, and we have uh, Lawyers come in as judges, sometimes actual judges come in as judges, <laughs> which is intimidating but very cool. Um, and also just like law students. So basically anybody who's got a tie to mock trial in the law. I was going to say anybody who has a tie can come in and do it. <laughs> Kate, I'm going to ask you, what is the most unique part about this for you and, and for the whole group too? Well, I think to mock trial itself, uh, there's an interesting element that anybody can do mock trial. You can come in wanting to go to law school and you can go be an attorney, but there's also uh, an interesting role as being a witness, where you're essentially an actor. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's, it's a, a different kind of theater. And so that means that people that aren't really looking to go to law school can still have a role in mock trial and have some fun. And, and Max, as you do this, and you guys have gone around, we've seen a bunch of pictures we've been loading, you know, putting on your screen here. Take a, tell me a little bit about some of the, the takeaway from it, from the students who do this. You know, what do they gain? And like, what are some of the skills that they're building as they're doing this? Yeah, so I think the really awesome thing about mock trial, kind of building off what Caden said, is no matter what you end up doing, mock trial is a really incredible opportunity to build skills beyond just the public speaking. There's tons of teamwork skills. There's tons of just confidence building, leadership. I personally never went to law school. Mm -hmm. I used to teach high school English. Every day I was in the classroom using the skills that I had worked on in mock trial, being able to explain things to people in a way that they would understand. There's just so much that you're going to be able to gain from doing it. And we wanted to give the background because you're taking what you guys do at the collegiate level and opening it to high school this summer. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, so this summer from July 7th through July 12th, we're going to be hosting on our campus a mock trial summer camp for high school students. So it's basically a chance for anybody who's interested in mock trial, whether you've done mock trial before or not, to come and learn from our wonderful students a little bit about mock trial. Mm -hmm. It'll be a week long. We'll get a chance to teach you all the basics, and then we'll end by actually getting to run through some trials. Rachel, would your parents say you were argumentative as a child, <laughs> or did it develop once you joined the mock trial team? I definitely would say that I was argumentative as a child. <laughs> um, and then it just got further enhanced by mock trial when I actually learned how to argue effectively. Mm -hmm. well, and, and Caden, same question for you. Um, Sure. I, I, I think I, think I, not I always very have that. Max. <laughs> We've given them some very good training just to make sure they behave themselves. What's your guys' favorite part about this? I love the team. Like mm -hmm. it's just so special being able to work together on something towards a common goal, and then get to travel and um, just spend so much time together doing this activity that we all love. Getting to spend time with my friends in practice and then getting to go and travel with them to tournaments and getting to be around people that I truly enjoy mm -hmm. being with, that's something that, that is, is uh, just so great about being in mock trial and the people that I get to share it with. And we would be remiss if we didn't mention and put up on the screen here too, 
you're starting to take applications now. Tell me a little bit in about 30 seconds, like that process and where people can go to learn more, Max. Yeah, absolutely. So you can actually go to our website, cornellcollege.edu, and there's a tab specifically for summer programs. I'd also encourage people to follow us on social media. We're at CC Rams Mock Trial on Twitter at Cornell College Mock Trial on Instagram. We'll be posting additional information there. Uh, the sign-up deadline is going to be May 7th. Okay. So students have until May 7th to sign up. Um, and on our website, that's where we'll have all the information about the specifics of how you get to sign up. It's a pretty simple process. We're also offering um, two scholarships. So if you are from Iowa, and you want to apply, but maybe the cost is a little bit of an issue, that's something we're able to work with you on. We're going to put all that info on our website at kcrg.com. Thank you guys for coming in this morning. Thank we you so much for having us. Has anybody ever gotten the uh, objection, like really loud? Not quite that loud. Okay. Maybe in practice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Give it time. So yeah. thanks, guys, again.